Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm doing a series called How to Sing Like, and next up is Axel Rose from Guns N' Roses. If you guys don't mind, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. That'd be really cool. Uh, don't forget to ring the bell so I can keep new cool videos coming your way. And I have a singing course. The course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com, uh, where we discuss and negotiate all these different styles of these great singers in hopes to help make you a great singer. So uh, now with Axel, Axel's kind of an interesting character because he uses a lot of nasality in his sound and I don't necessarily care to use that much nasality in my sound. Now I'm going to do some demonstrations here that I've done in the past. In fact, I'm going to talk about demonstrations I've done. Uh, I'll put the full videos in the description so you can check how out the full length of these versions. But um, I want to discuss that I I like to have more of a, a round girthy kind of sound to my voice instead of being real small on the sound. I'll explain that as I go. And then I also thought it's really important uh, to point a couple things out. Now, there's a lot of vocal coaches on the internet and you know, it depends on where you want to get your information from. But I recommend that you get it from a vocal coach that can sing and sing well themselves and also demonstrate other students singing. So if someone claims to be the number one vocal coach on the internet, or if some guy's gonna tell you to uh, how well you can sing in 30 days and show you some auto-tuned YouTube stars on there, guys, you know, use some common sense. If they can't do it themselves and they show no students doing it, they can't teach you how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Uh, this is uh, Paradise City and uh, here we go. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to take I'm getting more girth in the sound. I like Coverdale and I like Lou Graham and Paul Rogers and you know, all the bigger voices, you know, uh, uh, Ian Gillen, you know, all these big voices. And so I kind of approached it different. It's a lot harder to do it the way I'm doing it because I'm carrying up so much weight and mass in the throat. And I got to really be careful not to oversing. Now Axel, goes, take me down in the paradise city where the grass is green. You know, he's like, meh, meh, meh really, really thin on the sound and real, again, a lot of nasality and a lot of mask in the sound. I chose not to do that. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Now, before we go on, he also uses a ton of words. And at least in mine, you might even be able to make out with it. by the square root of your social security number. You know, like a lot of words to negotiate. So um, if you notice, I'm actually being really careful on how I uh, don't over enunciate the words themselves because you can really get caught in the throat when you do that. So it's the reason that you don't really make out a lot of the words that he's saying is because the bigger the words, the more, the bigger the vowels going from vowel to vowel, the more the vocal tract in the throat has to work harder. So it's it's like real small and he's compressing the air. The other thing is when we take the breath from the diaphragm, we have to hold that breath for a really long time to get the strength out, to get all those words out. And then we have to learn how to relax the abdomen so that when we go sing the next phrase, the abdomen doesn't get bound up and not give us the strength that we need to go to the next phrase. So going back and forth between this relaxation response of the abdomen is key for songs like this. So let's continue. Please take me home. 
point out something right there. I'll point out something right there. So, hello, champ! Right? And I didn't go, hello, champ! Real big in the sound. I go, hello, champ! So I did thin the sound down like a pyramid going up from a big sound to a smaller sound. And I have to do that. The higher up I go, the smaller I need to make that sound. So I, it could be deceiving making you think I'm bringing a lot of big girth up up top when I'm really not. I do pare the sound down like he does and it's the only way he can get to those sounds too. I have to do that too. Everybody has to do that in order to be able to have the stamina to be able to complete and finish the song. Without it, you wouldn't be able to have enough endurance to pull it off and the throw would get really caught and you'll find that you won't even be able to get to those notes because you'll get locked down in the throat. You probably experienced that too where you're singing a bunch of songs, you're going along the way, a lot of the time you can actually hit some of the notes and then your voice locks down and you go, gosh, I can't go any higher, what's going on? That's because the larynx gets locked down and you gotta relax it and you can kind of massage it, pull it down like this and then just kind of jiggle it back and forth real gently and get it into a relaxed state and then you can go up back, give it like 10 seconds and you can go back up and hit the notes again. kind of more like Dio on it rather than Axel because I like that sound personally. But I want to move on because remember I said, I, you know, it's not just the vocal coach that sings, but can he get his students to sing? But before I do that, I want to I want to come up with November Rain because I want to show you kind of a different approach. So I'm going to put all these in the description so you can see the full versions of these and hear how we did uh, and how they stack up to Axel, right? You can make, you know, judge for yourself. Here we go. Now this is kind of an interesting cover because um, it's, um, it's a different, a completely different Axel, and it was when his voice dropped. When I look into your eyes, I can see a love restrained. But darling, when I hold you, don't you know I feel the same? If you listen to his version, you can tell his voice is pretty spent and pretty thrashing. So it's, it's, darling, when I hold you, don't you know I feel the pain? Right, he's got a kind of like, I've been touring and I just came off tour and now I'm singing this song kind of voice. I like a, darling, when I hold you. I like a bigger, rounder sound to it. So like I said, I like to sing still in my style. So it's in the spirit of Axel and I do do a lot of his nuance and stuff, but I still bring Ken Tamplin along for the ride because I'm not looking to exactly, exactly emulate anyone. I want it to be a little of me, a little bit of them and so forth. And you'll see a lot of that too when I get to some of the Robert Plant stuff. We'll talk about that also as we go along, but here we go. Yeah. more soul to the sound. I do all the high notes at the end. In fact, I even go even higher than he does. So you can listen to, to my version, but I do get to all the high notes. So I'm not doing this now in the name of time because I want to get to exactly how he does certain things. But I wanted to um, also include another uh, two other KTBA artists. Uh, and I'm going to start with this one here. It's um, Katie. Now, now, by the way, we did Out to Get Me, but we did the Lizzie Hale version. So it's kind of a combination. It's kind of threefold. Here we have Katie and her style. Then we have Axel and Out to Get Me, Guns N' Roses song done in the spirit and style of Lizzie Hale. So it's kind of three parts removed from Katie, but we kind of combine all three and it's kind of interesting. Check this out, tell me what you think. Here it is. Manhattan out and laying low, it's nothing new to me. Well, you can always find a place to go If you can keep your sanity Bring down the dolls to rain my eyes But they won't touch me And scream and yell and fight all night You can tell me I lose my head, I close my eyes They won't touch me Cause I
again, we talked about Ken Tamplin, open throat technique. Notice her big round vowels when she goes up top. It doesn't sound like she's fighting for air and she's pinching and squeezing and choking on her vowels or gagging on her vowels or anything like that. Her vowels are big and round up top. Go back and take a listen. You're gonna see this is really too for Gabriella also. We're gonna bring her into the picture in a second. Again, as I'm teaching some of these different singers how to do it, we maintain big round sounds. And if we wanna compress those sounds again and make them more tubular, we can do that too but it's we have to start for good vocal health we have to start with a big round sound first train those vowels for good open throat technique like I cover in my singing course and then we can do anything we want to do with those sounds so I'm gonna put this in the description you can see how Katie did to out to get me she did a fabulous job and now we're gonna check out Gabriella and some of you may have already seen this but um, I want to go ahead and play it here so we can just talk about it along the way Now she goes on, she gets dirtier on the sound as we go, and we have different levels of distortion that we go into. But notice the similarities of the roundness and the power and the effortlessness sound that she's got in her voice. That's what we do here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com as we negotiate and have it sound like, God, where does that chicks or guys, where do their ranges actually end? I mean, it just seems to go on and on. These guys have like, it seems like there's no end to their range because there kind of isn't. I mean, we, we sing in three, four, five octaves, so pretty incredible stuff. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel now. I'm doing a lot of this, uh, most of it actually, by uh, request. So put in the description a request of who it is you want me to do a How to Sing Like. I'm totally down for that, and check out my next video.